Okay, we got this question about dreams from our buddy, and I can't remember the name of this person. So if you're watching this, you know who you are. I'm sorry, I've lost your original email, but I replied to you like this month. So hopefully you know who you are. But anyway, the question is about time sense in a dream and how you can change that. So they're asking, when you're in a dream and you feel like maybe a year has gone past, and in other dreams, it feels like only a day or even a few minutes have gone past. How do you change your sense of how much time has passed in the dream? Because you can fabricate things like location, time, you know, um, even your appearance. So why won't, why shouldn't you be able to fabricate or create um, time sense? Choose, why can't you choose how long it feels like has passed in the dream? This is kind of a complicated one to explain. I hope you understand what I mean. Um, and I actually have quite a good answer for this, okay? And it starts with, think back to when you were a child. So when you were maybe five or six, okay? And you may remember that things just seemed to go on forever, okay? Um, and then going a bit further forward, remember when you were in primary school and the summer holidays came around, it was about six weeks, right? Which now, that's nothing. That's like a month and a half of that. It goes by almost in an instant for adults, right? Whereas when you were a kid, it feels like a lifetime. It feels like years, okay? And the reason is because you're doing new things. Okay, you're experiencing something new almost every day. And when you do that, in your mind, time seems to sort of stand still, okay? You, if you fit loads of activities into one week, it's gonna feel like a lot longer than if you did the same thing for one week. So compare these two situations. Week one, you go on holiday and you do loads of new things, you meet new people, you skydive, you abseil, you explore you know, islands, you do an excursion every day. And then on week two, you're at work, in an office, or whatever your job is, doing the same thing Monday to Friday. Which one do you think is gonna feel like a longer period of time? Obviously the one with lots more experiences in. And this is the reason why when you're a kid, time just seems to last forever, you know, when your birthday comes around, it feels like it's been forever since your last birthday, right? And it's because you're doing lots of new things in the time period. Same period of time is going by, but when you're older, things are more routine. You're doing the same sort of thing every day. So it feels like time's just flying by. And this is the reason why I always try and I always encourage people to try and do as many things as they can in their life. You know, just experience lots of things and it will feel like you've lived more years in your life. So. The, the way this transfers into a dream is the same the same kind of principle, really. Time will feel like it's going slower when you're doing more things, when you're experiencing more. So if you have a dream about chatting to someone, you know, you're sitting on a bench having a chat about work or the stocks or politics or something like that, that is going to feel like a lot faster. No, oh, no sorry, that's going to feel like a lot uh, slower period of time than if you spent the same dream uh, abseiling down a mountain, okay? Because you're experiencing something new and more than usual, it feels like more time has passed, even though it's the same period of time. So you can have the same dream for a minute or two, but depending on what you dream about, that will affect how much time you think has passed. So I, I hope this has answered your question. It's kind of a tricky one to explain. I hope I've done a good job of it. Um, if you have any questions, please just leave a comment. I'm sure people will reply to it. Um, I do like it when, sorry, I just had a little twitch there. There's something biting me. Anyway, yeah, I really hope people um, reply to the comments and sort of answer each other's questions because then it's more of a sense of community, right? It's more of like, instead of me just answering other questions, it's you sort of helping each other as well. So yeah, please go ahead and comment. If you have any questions, send them in. Please subscribe if you're new. And yeah, I've got something quite exciting coming out. Uh, probably later this year, uh, which is called the Ultimate Lucid Dreaming Guide. And I'm not going to say too much about this because it's really uh, something I want to sort of surprise people with. Uh, but basically, it's going to be a giant lucid dreaming guide, complete with illustrations, diagrams, you know, lots of lots of things, and possibly an interactive online element as well. So if you're interested in that, if you sort of have a look on my my current ebook sales page, which is the Five Steps to Lucid Dreaming, uh, right at the bottom in one of the sort of question boxes, there's a link to a sign-up form for the advanced waiting list. If it's something you're interested in, 
then I would strongly advise you to sort of get on the waiting list. Anyone on the waiting list will get a huge discount when it's finally released. So, see you in the next video, guys.